This piece of literature is called The Petals Fall Twice. Felt right, she slowly licked and tickled his peony, and, because she was so smart, combined the words in her head like an expression explorer of old. Slickled, she thought, I'm slickling his peony. No matter how brilliant her wordplay, the result was the same. Gary's peony was now erect. It felt like a quality bar of peony-scented soap in her hands. Without warning, she gave it a swift headbutt, because men liked that. All men liked that. Fwa, Melinda. That's the good stuff. That's the stuff that makes me forget about my problems. Melissa derived satisfaction from this comment, despite the mangled pronunciation of her name. She could feel her horny levels rising to 30%, and her hoo-ha was getting right slimy with anticipation of participation. Gary, me need sex now, inside, please. Damn, Melissa thought. I wish there was a better way to say that. Gary was only too eager to comply. He wrenched his peony away from Melissa's grubby paws and thrust it inside her hoo-ha with a thunderous orgasm. She was pregnant, but that could be dealt with in the morning, provided that she was still alive. Outstanding stuff, Melanie, Gary chortled. I know I could just go to sleep now, but I would like to continue satisfying you, sans peony. Gary nudged downward and his peony was nowhere to be seen. What have you in mind, E? Just sit back and relax, kitty cat. Melissa did just that, falling back onto the bed and stretching her perfect seven body, eager for Gary's attention. He started working his magic immediately, and she felt an all-too-familiar heat rising from her breast. Gary was crouched over top and pooping all over her unbelievably average body. Gary. So stinky. That's just the poop, baby. Let it just work its magic. I... I can't see anything. That's because you're blind now, Mildred.